guys, it's Lee, and I'm back today with a pretty big Dollar Tree haul. This stuff came from four different stores, and I'm really excited that I found some of it. You'll see what I mean in a few minutes. Thought I heard a chihuahua growling. So let me just get started and show you what I picked up. Speaking of chihuahuas, I picked up a couple packs of these XXL training pads. There are two pads in each pack. Our chihuahuas are trained to use potty pads, so or pee pads, whatever they're called. These I'm just using as backups because every now and then I forget to order the pee pads on Amazon. I should do the subscribe and save thing, but I never think about it. But yeah, so I picked these up just to have on hand, just in case. Next, two of the stores had these Good and Clean disinfecting, disinfectant wipes, 30 count, and they're lemon scented. I picked up a few of these because I'm only putting two out here because my friend and I both were looking for them. So I picked up some for her and some for me. There were no limits in the stores. So yeah, I found that unusual. Don't worry, I didn't clear the shelf, but I did pick up a couple for me and a couple for her. I also picked up four more packages of these all clear surface cleaning wipes. You get 30 in the package and they do have, where did I see that? Somewhere it says isopropyl alcohol. Here it is, if you can read that. Ingredients, water, whatever that is, whatever that is. Isopropyl alcohol. So I grabbed four more of these and we just use them for like cleaning our desks or you know, just stuff like that around the house. Stuff that doesn't necessarily need to be super disinfected. So remember, this stuff came from four different stores. So one of the stores I went in had the Clorox wipes, disinfecting wipes, or you get 15 of them for a dollar. These I bought before I found those, but my son likes to keep these in his desk upstairs. So I got two of the Clorox, and then another store had the Lysol, so I picked up two of the Lysol and I'll just give these to him and he'll take them upstairs. I grabbed one of these Tile Plus mold and mildew stain removers for the showers. I've never used this before, but I figure I'd give it a shot. If you have used it, let me know down in the comments section below how it works. I found these Airwick Stick Ups odor neutralization. Neutralization, yeah, I said that right. It sounded weird. These are in sparkling citrus, and I got these just to put like inside the trash cans under the bags and maybe on the back of the litter box, you know, any, any little help you can get in those situations is good. I've had a hard time finding these in the stores. We were using them for my daughter uh, to put stuff in her luggage, and then I realized I could actually use these in the house to store stuff. So I picked up four more packages. These are the large vacuum storage bags. They worked really well um, on the stuff in her suitcase. So hopefully, you know, I don't know if they last long term, but yeah, they worked long enough for her to get to another country. <laughs> Next, I found these shiny steel non-scratch sponges by Karazi. It says it has the silver, silver side to make your stainless steel shine and the cellulose for cleaning. Has anybody used these? Yeah, let me know if you've tried them and if so, how they work. I picked up another bag of these Utz Original Potato Chips, my favorite, and I pick them up in these size bags because it's portion control. If I bought the big bags, I'd eat way too many. So usually what happens is if I, my husband and I have sandwiches for lunch, we'll split one of these so it's not too bad. But yeah, I'd eat the whole bag by myself. I got two more packages of this So Natural Jasmine Rice. I've been cooking this a lot more, um, or cooking rice a lot more recently. So I just picked up two of these. They work really well. I cook them in the Instant Pot and yeah, it works great. I found some more of the Restore's Vitamin D gummies. I could not find the multivitamin gummies, which I was looking for. I only picked up one pack of those, and I wish I had gotten more. But these have, they do have a lot of sugar in them, 
but they do have 375% of the daily recommended value, value, whatever, of vitamin D, so I think they taste good too, which is a plus. I picked up this mountain trail mix for my husband. It says a blend of peanuts, raisins, M&Ms, milk, oh, M&M milk chocolate candies, almonds, and cashews. See, I would go through this and pick out all the almonds and cashews, and that would really annoy him. Uh, this is five ounces. Trail mix is expensive, by the way. And it's a product of Chile, Ghana, India, Indonesia, South Africa, USA, and Vietnam, for those who are interested. I also picked up the Tropical Fruit Trail Mix, which is a blend of banana chips, raisins, dried papaya, dried pineapple, and dried coconut. This one says low sodium. I don't know if the other one did. I'll check. Also five ounces. These are products of Argentina, Chile, Philippines, South Africa, Thailand, and the U.S. This one says low cholesterol, low sodium, good source of vitamin E. Then I found this dog toy from Pet Zone. It says small, but honestly, that's not small. That's pretty big. And it says made from natural materials, buffalo, I mean, water buffalo bone and Judy, Judy cotton rope. And our dogs don't really act like dogs, but I was thinking Ollie, the greyhound, might like this. But I thought I'd just try one of them. And the chihuahuas, they rarely play with toys, and if they do, it has to squeak, so. I grabbed one of these Aroma Guru pumps in a lavender. It says sweet almond oil and lavender essential oil. I just like the smell of lavender, so I picked this up just so I could smell like lavender. Next, I saw Theoni over at Thrifty Divas haul these black sticky notes. They are by Jot and each pack has 120 sheets. Never seen black sticky notes before, and I think they're super cool, and I picked up four packages of them. I might send a couple to my daughter. Now, I saw these in hmm, three of the four stores I was in. And then to go with those black sticky notes, I was thinking I would need, you know, a marker that will write on black. So I picked up these Crafter Square metallic markers. I'm pretty sure the silver one will show up, but they also had this, what color is this? Like coppery one, or maybe a rose gold one, and a blue one, so I thought I would give those a shot and see if they all work. Pretty sure that silver one will, though. I found these K and Company Smash gift card holders. I think these are super cool. I picked up two of them. And yeah, it's just a cute little holder that you can put your gift cards in. It says, don't go all postal on me. And did you see this? I think they're cute. Kind of that dog is what caught my attention, but I think they're cute. I'm not sure what the scratch off thing is. Oh, okay. Oh, you can conceal your message. Got it. Anyway, I thought they were interesting, so I picked up two. Next, I found these cute little ceramic containers. They have a lid on them with a plastic piece. Super cute. I picked up this one in gray with the rooster, or with a gray lid. I got this one with a cactus and a mint green lid. And then I picked up the pink one that says love. There was also one with a red lid that said blessings. But these are the three I really wanted, so. I got those. Next, I found the cutest thing imaginable, at least for me. I could not believe it when I walked in the store and saw these. Look at the ceramic pig with wings. Isn't he adorable? I just loved him. So I got this one in white. Isn't he cute? Look at that face. I got this one in black. Again, that face is so cute. Oh, he has a little chip, but I can probably just fix that up with a Sharpie. A lot of the black ones were chipped, so just be careful. And this may have gotten chipped in the bag because the wrapping job wasn't the best. And I think my favorite one 
is the pink pig. Oh, that one has a big chip. Oh, man. If they were not chipped when I bought them. I checked them. Oh, I hope I can find another one of these. But look how cute it is. It's a little piggy with wings. I, you know, if you know me, you know that I collect pig stuff. And there's no way I was passing these up. Now I need to find another pink one. The next, I found this portable drinking straw set. It comes with the straw and the cleaner. They had them in white, blue, and black. And I'm actually gonna open one of these up so we can see what it looks like. All right, so I opened up the little carrier. And here's the straw. It's flimsy, but you know. And then here is the brush to wash it. Not bad for a dollar. Not to mention the fact that it saves the turtles. <laughs> so these would be really nice to have in your purse when you go to one of those restaurants that doesn't have straws. So next I found these Real Techniques by Sam and Nick base foundation applicators. So in my last haul, I found two other Real Techniques products. So just go check that out and you'll see what else I found. And yeah, I picked up two of these because if I like it and I go back, they won't have them. That's how it goes. Next, I picked up this e.l.f. color correcting stick and it's the green one and that corrects red. I have rosacea and you know, that's red on my face, so I picked up the green one. I picked up two of these e.l.f. sculpting face brushes, or makeup brushes. I've seen a lot of people haul these, and I finally found them. And the last items I picked up today are from Drew Barrymore's Flower Beauty line. And the first one I got was Easy on the Eye, easy on the eyes in aubergine and this is a long wear eyeliner. I saw Theoni swatch this and it looks very brown really. It's very dark so I thought it would work for me. I'm not very adventurous when it comes to colorful eyeliners but this one I think I'll like because it's so dark. So I grabbed two of those. Then lastly, I found Eyes on the Prize. It is a chubby eyeshadow stick. I guess that's what you call it. It says powder soft finish silky tint of color. And this is in Teal We Meet Again. So I grabbed two of these as well. All right, so that's everything I picked up at the Dollar Tree this time around. I'm much happier with this haul than the last one where I really didn't find much of anything. I do have just a couple of pictures I'm going to insert here of some items I saw and did not buy, but I thought you might like to see them. So watch that and I'll meet you right back here. hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.